Hi guys, my name is Pamela and in this video I'm going to be teaching you the five different ways you could be making money online in Africa. So this is just an overview, this video is just an overview of a mini series that we've got lined up where we're going to take each of these points and kind of break it down to show you exactly the different ways you could be earning and the different strategies you could adopt to earn in this platform. Also in this series, we're going to have videos where we're going to have people who have earned on these different platforms. So stay tuned for that and make sure you watch that as well. A little disclaimer before we get started. So these platforms are investment platforms. What that means is when you talk about an investment, you're taking, you're taking in consideration the scope of time. So it's not going to be an overnight kind of success platform where you're going to make money and then tomorrow you're a billionaire. But these are things that you have to invest and it takes time. So when you're thinking of investing or taking time to consider these platforms, please consider the scope of time. It could be two years, it could be three years, it could be a year, it could be four, it could be five. So really just keep that in mind. And also, I'm not a financial expert and we're not a financial expert company. So what we're bringing to you, the information that we're bringing to you is research information and also questions I've asked with people who are using these platforms so that I can bring them to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first point we're gonna look at is you can earn money by being an instructor on online platforms. So on e-learning platforms specifically. So there are a bunch of e-learning platforms that are always looking for new instructors that have new uh, skills or you know programs or uh, lessons that they wanna pass on or knowledge they want to give to their subscribers on their platform. I've personally benefited from this. I have a course on uh, Listenable, so you can check that out in the description box. So the way this works is you reach out to them or they reach out to you personally and you have to create a course and based on their payment scheme. So they could be paying you quarterly, which is like after four months and they take a percentage of their subscribers subscriptions how many people subscribe within that month and they take like maybe 15% and then they pay you based on that but everything varies from the platform how many subscribers they have and how many people even pay for your lessons and you know tune into that so you could roughly be earning like a hundred dollars a month to three hundred dollars a month really depending on the platforms and their payment scheme the second platform you should look at is YouTube. So obviously everybody, YouTube is very saturated, it's very competitive and to invest in YouTube now you have to be very creative, you have to invest time, equipment and you need to be very, very patient. But there are different ways you can earn apart from just earning from the ad revenue which they pay you like per thousand views, you have about two to five dollars. And also you can earn from affiliate marketing. So once you've, ever, you've been able to build your community, you can sign up to like affiliate marketing uh, platforms where you can earn per, per people that purchase a product and they have like a code and all of that. Or you can also have your own business. So if you've been able to invest in YouTube for about three years and you have a business, this is a great place for you to advertise anything that you've got going on because then you don't have to invest so much into marketing. You already have a platform, you already have subscribers and you don't need a huge like following, you don't need like a million followers or you know, 50,000. You could start small, 20,000, 10,000. I've seen channels with little subscribers, but a lot of views get brand deals, make money more than people who have like a million subscribers. So definitely keep that in mind. So the third point that you, the third platform you could consider is Facebook. So people around, I know a lot of people think of YouTube first, like, wait, I'm gonna go to YouTube first. But Facebook is actually a great platform to get started because um, they offer a lot in terms of ad, ad, like in terms of revenue streams. So you can earn from fan subscription, you can earn from in-stream ads, you can earn from meta brand partnerships. So you can earn also from online events, you get paid for online events. So there are different ways you can earn on Facebook. The only, I would say, eek about or problem we could have with Facebook is there's certain content that just can't, don't, don't do as well on Facebook than on, face, uh, than on YouTube. So when you're creating content, you can put the same content that you have on YouTube on Facebook, but it, it won't do as well, or there's just a particular niche that they look into. We'll break that down in a different video, so definitely stay in tune for that. The fourth platform or the fourth way you could be earning as an African is in Africa is through e-commerce, starting your own online shop. Obviously, this can require more finances 
compared to the other listed uh, platforms, but it really depends on how you go about it. There's a lot of people who uh, decide to, I would say, trade in a form. They buy clothes or shoes and they just sell it on their WhatsApp groups. That's probably one of the, I would say, less expensive way that you could start an e-commerce. And obviously, as you grow, you can turn it into like a, a website, um, a landing page where you literally just sell and you don't have to actually have a full-on website and it just expands with time. This is a business pretty much because now for it to expand you have to invest as in the same form that you invest a capital for full-on business. The only thing that you wouldn't have to pay for is the infrastructure where it's just you pay less in terms of you don't have to pay for uh, you don't have to pay rent for a particular place or employees or you know light and all those bills that come with it but it still does require a lot of time and money and energy but it is lucrative according to statista africa's e-commerce space is estimated to see revenue of 25 billion dollars in 2021 so more goods are actually being imported in africa from platforms like jumia alibaba so there is an opportunity for e-commerce so starting an e-commerce is not necessarily a bad thing just it just requires more time energy and just you have to sort out your logistics really well but there is a market there is uh, I would say look it's very lucrative summary our last point that we're gonna look at is the cryptocurrency so according to World Economic Forum the African crypto market has actually actually grown up to 105 billion US dollars since last year and Nigeria is the second largest Bitcoin market after the US this is due to the fact that there is the mobile money payment system where people are able to make easy transactions online and in East Africa, it would be called like M-Pesa. So due to that, like it's very easy for people to carry out transactions online and just trade and invest on all of that. When you're investing into crypto, it's very, it's a very volatile market. What does that mean? That the market is very, it fluctuates a lot. So one minute you could be a, bill a billionaire, the next minute you could be just broke. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't happen as drastic as that, but it is very volatile and very risky, which is why you have to invest you have to invest in learning about crypto you have to invest in getting the right information getting a mentor and all of that we have a video of a crypto girl who actually wants to explain like details of her journey and please check that out it's going to be here on the platform also the different ways you can invest in crypto there is investing there's trading stocking there's lending and there is mining the crypto space is very broad so you have to take the time. I have to emphasize on people who want to invest in crypto to take the time to actually learn about crypto and be patient because you can lose as much as you can gain from crypto. On that note, those are the five different platforms you can earn as an African in Africa. So that's it. Uh, see you in the next video where I'll be breaking down one of these points and also check out our crypto girl journey that's gonna be a video that's gonna be somewhere in this channel. See you next time.